everybody. Today I am doing a haul. Um, so I went to a couple different places. There's um, some online stuff in the mix. So I'm just going to kind of talk you guys through what I picked up. So the first thing that I was on the hunt for is the Willow Lane collection. So I was actually able to pre-order this to the website called A Cherry on Top. If you guys don't know what that website is, I will link them below. But they have... Um, Tons of different scrapbook, um, paper crafting, embellishments, just kind of um, lots of different varieties of stuff. And they have them at really good prices. So depending on what you're looking for, you can check out their website and see if you can find it at a better deal than, say, like scrapbook.com. So um, I pre-ordered the Willow Lane collection. Um, so this is what I picked up. They didn't have everything on pre-order, just um, the stuff that I got. But I'll show you what I picked up. So I got the ephemera pack first, and if you guys don't know what comes in this, this is everything. So there's lots, these are tin embossed pieces at the top, and then these are the rest of it. Um, really cute stuff, and then I got the standouts from the Willow Lane collection as well. That's what that looks like. Um, then I picked up two sets of the stickers. This is the back. I always go through stickers really fast. So I picked up two of those. And then I got some individual papers. They didn't have the paper pad, or else I probably would have bought that. Um, but yeah, I got lots of different individual papers, which sometimes I like better because they're double-sided. So this is called Cottage. Here, let me do this. This one is called Kind Heart. This paper is Friendship. This paper is Melody. This paper is Frolic. This paper is called Spread Love. Other side. This one is called Bright Days, and I got two of those. I love the back side of this one. This one's probably one of my favorites. This one is Violet. This is Flutter. This is called Sweet One. This is Happy Times. Picked up another one of the Spread Love. This is Melody. Another one of that. This is Sentiment. This is called Sparrow. It's gonna be super cute to fussy cut these out. I picked up two of these. This is Daydream. I thought I could use the background and then have one to cut out the cut aparts. So two of those ones. Um, this is another paper. This is the Cottage. And this is another one of my favorites. This one is Blossom. And then the last one is Friendship. And as you can see, unfortunately, I got some water on here, but it's okay because um, I don't really like this background anyways, um, but I think this one's also in the paper pad, and then I was mostly going to use this to fussy cut these out. So luckily, this was the only one that got really messed up. Yeah. So those are my papers, and that is a cherry on top. So I also picked up just a few things from Amazon. So I will show you what I got. I got some dies. So this is a circle die. This is a spell binders. This is a five piece one. It's super cute. It's got like a wreath, a couple of different flowers, and then a smaller wreath on the inside. This is a tag. This is a super cute swan die. And then this last one is um, little ruffle scalloped punches or not punches um dies and there are eight of these so all kinds of different sizes so now i'm going to show you what i got from hobby lobby i just picked up a few things from there a couple different boxes just because their paper storage was 50 percent off these are really great for sending happy mail in they're usually 4.99 um but because they were 50 percent off i got them for around 250 so i got that one i got this really cute pink one super cute love this color and then I also got a 12 by 12 one and I will show you that one a little bit later so for right now I'll show you what else I got um, I picked up some of these bows their paper studio items were also 50% off so that's why you're gonna see lots of um, stickers and stuff like that um, 
picked up the ones with sequins, those ones. I picked up some glassine bags and then some cute stickers. So this is flowers, got this unicorn one, got two sets of these swan ones. I also got some really cute trim. So their trim was also, I think, either 40 or 50% off. So I got this pink pom-pom, got some white in the same kind of style. I got some lace trim. And then I was super happy about this. I found this one and it is marked down to 74 cents and then I still got the 40% off. I don't know if they're supposed to do that, but the cashier did. So I got this for super cheap and I got two of those. And then this last trim that I got is just um, a gold trim. I thought this would be cute for tassels and stuff. Okay. I'm sorry if you can see there's black stuff on my hands. I was just painting. Okay, and then the last thing. Yeah, I think this is it. From Hobby Lobby that I got are these really cool bottle caps. So I've never seen these before. Um, so it's bottle caps. And then you can also get these to go with them. And these are epoxy stickers. So if you have a one inch circle die, you can punch out the circle of paper or whatever you want to put in there. Put this on top and it looks super cute. Um, it's a really great way to embellish and as you can see I've already opened them. It comes with 24 pieces, it's $10 but it's Paper Studio so it was 50% off so I got this for five bucks. And then this was a dollar or a dollar fifty. So yeah, I'm really excited to start making embellish um, embellishments with those. So moving on to Target, I just picked up um, four things. So I got these Velcro fasteners and these are really awesome. These are some of my favorite ways to um, like make binding for flip books or envelopes, stuff like that, because there's already adhesive on the back and it's super strong adhesive. So I use that um, for those kind of projects. Picked up two different colors of paint. This is shell, it's like a coral color. And then this is robin eggs, it's like a, a mint blue. So got both of those. And then I also picked up some pink crepe paper and this is in the craft aisle in case you're wondering already opened that up. <laughs> so my last bit of a haul is from scrapbook.com. So I'll show you what I got from there. So the first thing that I got, and this was kind of something that I spoiled myself on, but I've been wanting one for forever. So I ended up getting myself a die cutting machine and this is the Spellbinders one. So um, this is the Platinum 6 I think see if it says on the inside. I know the camera's super shaky right now, but it's just because this is so heavy. But yeah, it opens up like this, so you can easily move it around. Um, it is heavy though, <laughs> and it's super pretty. It has like this bronze detailing on it, almost looks rose, rose gold. So that's on the handle, and then it's also on the crank on the side. So yeah, I'm super excited to start using these, and I think it'll add um, a lot more to my projects and like homemade embellishments and stuff like that too. So that's the first thing that I got from scrapbook.com. And then I also, sorry, I probably should have had all this ready before, but um, I did get the acrylic stamps just cause I am a stamp person. <laughs> I use stamps on everything. So got these and it's super detailed and pretty. I haven't used them yet, but I'm sure they're great quality. They're from American Crafts, so no doubt. I also picked up the chipboard for this collection, which is super exciting. This is always one of my favorite ways to add um, just a little bit of extra something to my projects. It gives like a really cool texture. It makes everything a little bit more thick. So yes, and then these are so pretty. So there's gold foiling on a lot of these. I should have picked up like a hundred. <laughs> so I also got the standout collection from scrapbook.com. This is what it looks like opened. I picked up one more ephemera pack. I think I'm probably gonna gift this one because there's no need for me to have three of them. Um, I got the six by eight paper pad. So she actually has two different ones for this collection and I think this is the one called um, gold foil or something like that, but it's more plain patterns. And because a 12 by 12 paper pad is super busy, I thought this might be good to add just a little bit more solid backgrounds. So I'll kind of do a quick flip through. I love how this collection is colorful, but at the same time, it's still kind of muted and it's easy to use. 
that's how a lot of her collections are so if even if you're like a beginner crafter I think that it's so easy to work with all of her stuff and then it all just fits together perfectly so that was a six by sorry six by eight paper pad I might have said six by six and this is a 12 by 12 so I'm gonna do a flip through of this one for you as well it's lots of repeats of the um, single sheets except they're a little bit different colored See, like this one has foil and the single one doesn't. These papers are so pretty. Yeah, so that is the 12 by 12 paper pad. And then I also picked up the pom pom trim for this collection, which I think, or not trim but frames um she does have trim with this collection though I just didn't choose to pick it up um yeah I don't really work with stars a lot I think it's like gold stars it's super cute but I just passed on that one and got these instead so it comes with four and I already have an idea for how I'm going to use this so yeah and then also from scrapbook.com I picked up what I originally went on the website for were sequins so scrapbook.com has one of my favorite brands of sequins. It's called 28 Lilac Lane. If you guys haven't bought any sequins from them, you definitely should. They're really good quality. They're super sparkly. And there's not just like one type of sequin in one color. It's usually like a mix of them whenever you get them in a bag. And then they also have little tins of sequins too. So it's a great way. They're already packaged. So you easily store them. So this is called um, Forest Gems. It's a little bit more green on, green on the camera, but it's not as bright in person. This is called Aqua Dreams. This is Hello Sunshine. These are my favorite ones. Um, this is Coral Reef. Super pretty. And then I also got these, so I haven't got these before, but it's a little pack by Craft Medley of different pink sequins. They have a bunch of different ones on um, scrapbook.com, like green, blue, purple, all different shades, um, but they're sold out. They sell out really quickly, so, and I can link those below for you guys if you're interested, and they're super cheap. I think this was like a $1.28 or something like that, so yeah, and then um, that is everything that I got from scrapbook.com, and that concludes this haul video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. I plan to start posting more videos soon. Um, especially using the Willow Lane collection and um, using up what's left of my flourish. So if you guys are interested in seeing any, any of that, then please subscribe. And if not, thank you for watching.